Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 8.3 in our fourth grade Florida Go math books. Lesson 8.3 is called Multiply a Fraction by a Whole Number Using Models. So we're going to use pictures. Um, if you're in my class, you should be filling out page 325 in your big math books as we are watching this lesson. Okay, so we already learned in 8.1 and 8.2 how to multiply fractions by a whole number. This is just taking it one step further and drawing pictures to match that. So we have the problem here, 3 times 3 fourths. Let me read the whole word problem, though. Raphael practices the violin for 3 fourths hour each day. Each means multiply. He has a recital in three days, so how much time will he practice in three days? So that's where we get our 3 times 3 fourths. He has three days, and he's practicing for 3 fourths of an hour each day. So we already know how to multiply this fraction by the whole number of 3. We just do the whole number times the numerator. 3 times 3 is 9, and the denominator stays the same. So our answer is going to be 9 fourths is how many hours he practices in all. Now the new part for lesson 8.3 is drawing a model to match that. So we would draw a model showing three-fourths colored in, so we just draw a circle model, we break it into fourths, we would color in three of those, and we needed to do that three times because that's what we're multiplying by. So there's my first one done. I still need to do it two more times to get it done three times. So I'm coloring in three-fourths the second time, and here I color in three-fourths the third time. So for my first group of three-fourths, it's just three-fourths. That's it. Then when I add in my second group, I not only have the three from before, but I have three more, which would give me six-ninths all together. Sorry, six-fourths all together. That's a four on the bottom, six-fourths. And then when I add in my third group, so I had six plus three more, would give me nine fourths. So three times three fourths is nine fourths. So just to recap, we already know how to do this. You multiply the whole number times the numerator, and then the denominator stays the same. The only difference this time for this lesson is drawing a model to match. So your models, you would draw this model, so you would make it into force, and you'd have to do that same model, whatever your whole number is. In this case, it's three times. So that's how you multiply a fraction by a whole number using models. Um, if you're in my class, you should have filled out 325 um, as you are watching this lesson, and the password will be pencil to put in your planners to let me know that you watched this video. If you have any questions, just feel, feel free to please leave me a message. Thanks.